Hello friends, this is Imperfectly Jenny. Let's go ahead and do our first week of October review and move on to our second week of our bullet journal, Plan With Me. My month has filled up quite quickly. I have been using my gratitude log and my prayer list. Okay, here's the first week. So here I've been using my mood tracker. Today Saturday, so I haven't filled in this yet. My events. My word of the day. I've been really good about that. My to-do list. I've been terrible. I haven't gone to get my hair cut yet. <laughs> um... But Alexa has a new thing where she does a trick-or-treat, and it's so fun. Every day I'm doing it, and today it was, what is a ghoul's... No, I just messed that up. What is a zombie's favorite weather? When it... <sighs> no, I'm going to mess it up. Never mind. If you have Alexa, do it. <laughs> okay. Here's a little drawing I put in for the month of October. I decided to have a little fun. Okay, here is the next week starting tomorrow. And I have my SEPA. Is this going to record? There we go, SEPA. Um, what size is this one? It's a 0.38 millimeter. There we go. Okay, sorry about the blurriness. I do need to put this on an angle, so I apologize. And this is real time. I've already penciled everything out, as you can see. What fun traditions does your family have for Halloween? if you celebrate. And if you don't celebrate, what do you do instead? My kids are all older, so we don't do trick-or-treating anymore, but we will be passing, I will be passing out candy. So this is my meal tracker, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I've, for this layout, I've incorporated it into the day of the week. I've been having a lot of fun filling out my meal trackers and seeing what I'm eating and when I'm forgetting to eat, which lunch is a big problem for me because I take naps so I can work at night. So I always miss lunch. Plus I'm never hungry really. Uh, I drink my protein shakes in the morning and once I'm done with that I'm not I'm not really hungry again until close to dinner time and if I do get hungry I usually just drink some water but I'm drinking water all day long so I just drink like extra water does that make sense I apologize, I'm trying to focus because I'm not using my ruler. And I've been practicing my handwriting so it looks a little, whoops, sorry, I just bumped the tripod. Uh, so it looks a little more professional. I know this is, I don't need to for my um, bullet journal but I am making a bullet journal set for next year to sell on my Etsy store 
for somebody who wants to do bullet journaling but doesn't have the time or desire to set one up. So I'm almost done with it. And it's been a lot of fun. Okay, let's go over to Tuesday. Oh, I apologize for that too. Last night at work, I bumped into a lady. I was backing up and I didn't know she was behind me and I bumped right into her and I felt so bad. She was wearing like a sling and I don't know what was wrong with her hand or her arm, but I felt terrible. I was like, I'm so sorry. I apologize. She was like, it's okay. But it was funny because we were both dressed the same. We were both in all black. <laughs> now this layout today is just going to be in black and white. I didn't grab any of my colors. just wanted a simple layout for this week this um, layout with the larger days allows me to fill in like what I'm doing those days although I still have my to-do modules word of the day and my events my mood tracker I don't have a water tracker on this one I've kind of stepped away from doing that I drink so much water it's hard for me to keep track I just know that I'm drinking enough and I'm never thirsty. So that's a good thing. And I've started keeping track of my bills. Whoops. That was wiggly on my bullet journal as well. I am trying to be fairly quiet today because everybody is still in bed. It is very early here. It's about 5.30 in the morning. My sons both worked until midnight last night, so they are very much passed out. And I think my husband stayed up with them, or to wait for them last night, because the blanket was out on the couch when I got up this morning, which means he was hanging out. You know, when you've been married for 20 years, you can tell if the blanket's out, he was sleeping on the couch. <laughs> it's usually me with the blanket, so we have blankets everywhere, though. Here's an odd question. What is your favorite letter of the alphabet to write? Mine is the letter U or the letter J. I like them both. And then funny enough, one of my, my youngest son, my youngest child, his name is Justin. So the first two letters of his name are my two favorite letters. So after I'm done filling all this in, I will come back with my very well used and loved eraser and get rid of all of the pencil marks. My 
truck payment. It's due next Friday. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have Saturday, and then we're going to move on to the modules. My bullet journal is not very artistic. It is quite plain and simple. I do have a little pumpkin down here in the corner, but I like mine this way. I am, though, for next year, going to be doing, what is it called? The barn door setup. I want to do a barn door setup for each month. So I've been watching a lot of people doing theirs, getting ideas on how to do it, and reading the comments, because a lot of people leave really good tips in the comments. And I've gotten some really good ideas on how to do it without leaving, like, messy cut paper up at the top. But I'm going to have to get a whole new layout and add more pages in for each month um, if I'm going to be doing that because with the barn door set up I can only fit the weekly layout in it. I won't be able to fit all my modules so my modules will have to go on different pages. So I'm going to have to come up with something all brand new which is going to be exciting for me because this will be, let's see, this is my first full year of bullet journaling. I started last year, but I wasn't very good at it. Uh, let's start with my mood tracker first. I wasn't very good at it. And so I didn't really stick to it. I didn't know what I was doing. I hadn't read the book. I still haven't read the book. I've just read little excerpts here and there. I've watched a lot of other people do their, whoops, bullet journals. And um, I've learned a lot from other people. I learn more, easy, more easily by watching people than I do by reading. I have to like read it, see it, do it. To be able to learn something for it to stick. Otherwise, it's like in one ear and out the other. So this is the mood tracker. And if you would like to see the bullet journals I'm making to put on my Etsy store, just leave a comment and I can do a video reviewing. I'm all the way up. I'm starting October today, which is ironic because this is October, but it's October of 2020. So we have this, 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 and this. All right, let's move over to word of the day. And I just abbreviated it here. I've only had three times now this year where I didn't know what the word of the day was when he said it on Alexa. I was like, what? <laughs> I knew how to spell them. I just didn't know what they meant.
my dad was a very big stickler on spelling and using words properly when I was a child, so I actually read encyclopedias and did reports for fun as a kid. Yeah, that was me. If you don't know what an encyclopedia is, raise your hand in the comments. And my grandson just turned three. But I didn't get to see him because they live in another state. But hopefully my daughter will be coming home for Christmas. So that would be really great. Because I miss them both so much. But it's really fun to be able to say, I'm going on a road trip. I'm going to go see my daughter and my grandson. And I jump in my truck. And I go and drive for 10 hours. And there they are. I love road trips. I love driving. For my job, I drive. A lot. I don't get paid much, but it's fun, so I keep doing it. Does anybody else find it difficult to work on their bullet journal when you get to the bottom line? Ooh, that's rough. Okay, let's draw this pumpkin and then we are done. I am so excited for Halloween. We just moved to a new neighborhood in May and there are kids everywhere. Littles, little, little, little kids. So I made up a bunch of treat boxes and all the candy I ordered just came in yesterday. There we go. There's our beautiful pumpkin. When we lived in Tennessee, I grew pumpkins and sunflowers and corn and sunflowers and cucumbers I had a huge garden I would like to live somewhere where I could do that again but not in this neighborhood there's no yards here there's just a little patch of grass for my dog and that is it Yes, I'm talking about you. I love this eraser so much. I wish I could remember what it was called. White Pearl is what it was called. It's latex free. Oh, I forgot to write breakfast, lunch, and dinner right there. Look at me. I caught my mistake. And if you watched my last bullet journal video, if you catch my mistake, Leave it in the comments because I have a prize for you. It's quite hilarious. I think it's funny.
Okay. That is it. Let me clean this off really quick. Here we go. We have our weekday modules, my bills, my meal trackers. I have my word of the day, my to-do list, my events, and my mood tracker module, and a cute little, well, it's a large pumpkin, but it looks little. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, please like, leave me a comment, take care, God bless, and rejoice in the day God gave you.